Hello, Amazon.com. It's me, Bo Shepesu, coming to you with these Kevlar sleeves, or at least they purport that it's Kevlar. 100% Kevlar, according to this little tag that sticks out right there. As you can see, it comes up just about past my elbow. I'm somewhat a lanky sort of fellow. If you have super thick wrists, it'll probably be a little uncomfortable on you. For me personally, and I would probably say 80% of the male population out there, this is probably going to fit just fine. Now, whether or not it fits is a moot point if in fact this is something that is not going to protect you. And so, I have a lighter right here. I'm not going to test it on myself because I'm not going to put myself on the line because I don't necessarily trust all the companies out there. But I do have one right here. It's in perfect optimal condition and we're going to go ahead and see if we can burn my house down, all right? So we've got the flame right there. Slowly put it on. Ooh, interesting. So it uh Oh, oh it definitely smells burnt for sure. Here we go. Again, one, two, three. Wow, that is remarkable. It's definitely not melting as conventional uh, nylon wood or something like that. You can actually see a little bit of discoloration. See that spot right there? That is remarkable. And it's a bit uh, warm to the touch, obviously. There was a flame on that I held up against there. That is so cool. I'm actually really, really surprised that uh, it did not burn or at least melt all the way through because you can see a bit of elastic around here and I did melt that thread earlier and I kind of assumed that there was elastic woven throughout the whole thing because it's stretchy throughout the entire sleeve. And so I thought, well, Kevlar's not stretchy, right? I don't know how they weave this thing, but uh, that still has its integrity intact. I can't see through it at all or anything like that. The only thing that you're gonna suffer is probably a little bit of discoloration which uh, if you're a mechanic and if you're always burning yourself on these things and if you get some discoloration all over your sleeves, that's kind of cool. But anyway, I also have a knife right here, a very, very super sharp knife that I got off of Amazon.com. Yes, this is sharpened directly from the factory and we are gonna see if we can stab right through this thing without lacerating my arm. All right, here we go. So it's right there on there. Here we go, oh by the way, no puncture wounds on the box. All right, here we go. On three, one, two, three, stab. Oh, 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 I heard it go through and hit. Oh, 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 let's see, let's see. Let's carefully try to pull this out and actually see if it went through. It did not. Oh, interesting. So it did not actually pierce the sleeve itself, but there still is a mark there from the, <laughs> the force of the blade going through through and it uh wow there's actually no hole in there i mean obviously if you did that to your arm you would get a bruise and if not a puncture wound simply because uh it is not body armor but wow did that actually not cut all the way through that's incredible let's try let's just try one layer right here so you, so it's thin enough that you can barely even see through it so we're going to kind of drill it into there you can kind of see it. let's really try to break this I'm pushing really hard. Whoa, that's amazing. <laughs> okay, I, I really thought I could rip this thing, especially with this knife. This is a really, really sharp knife from Japan. It is, it's, it's nice. Okay, five out of five stars. These things are absolutely incredible. Highly recommended. There's my fire test and piercing test, and they pass both tests. Uh, whether or not they'll work out in the real world, that's up to you, but from my own little humble office, pass my test, five out of five stars. My name is Bo Shemesu, I look forward to testing, demonstrating, and reviewing more fun things here on Amazon.com, all across the internet, including, actually not including eBay, I don't like eBay, I don't trust them. Wow, I don't like these, I'm gonna wear these around all the time. That is cool. All right, let's go ahead and test to see if it'll cut my wrist off, ready?